and six. Now to the epidemic of painkiller addiction in Oklahoma. It touches so many families, including a Claremore woman's woman whose daughter died from her addiction. News on Six Crime reporter Lori Fulbright tells us how that mother has turned her pain into a purpose. Of course, when a parent raises a child, they never dream they'll grow up to become addicted to painkillers and other pills and eventually die from that addiction. But it happens all the time in Oklahoma. Ashley's mother says Ashley was a ray of sunshine. She loved nature and animals, artwork and writing. But when she turned 16, depression set in and she became withdrawn. Her mother started digging through closets and phones and found weed and pills. Just It, it begins an insanity as far as a parent because you're really trying to, to get a control of something that you have no control over and you cannot ever figure it out because pills are hidden easily. She tried everything, but Ashley's drug use progressed to cocaine, then heroin, and always more pills. We even discovered that she was uh, doing mills on wheels on purpose to try to get into the elderly homes so that you could steal out of the medicine cabinets. Ashley died from an overdose that led to kidney failure on Christmas Eve nearly four years ago, leaving behind a precious daughter, a devastated mother, and grieving family. There's nothing like a child loss. There's nothing like a child loss. Last year, Layla created a nonprofit called Light of Hope that helps addicts and their families. An addict is someone who's struggling internally from pain, first of all, that chooses a substance to numb that pain. For Layla, doing nothing was simply not an option. She has created this nonprofit to make sure that other families avoid the same loss that she has suffered. On the scene on the story in Claremore, Lori Fulbright, News on 6.